Creating a piece of art can be time consuming and at the end of the day, all it can really do is hang on a wall or sit on a shelf. If that doesn't sound like it's worth your time, then you'll be happy to hear that our next guest is here to show us how we can create art you can also eat. Stacey Sudkamp is the owner and head baker at Figtails Bakery, and she's gonna show us how to level up our cookie experience by creating one-of-a-kind watercolor cookies. This is the first time we've done watercolor, and I'm so excited. It's one of my favorites. I didn't know this was a thing that you could do on yes, cookies. This is a thing that you can do on cookies and a thing that anybody can do on cookies. You don't need to be artistic, um, and it can be really freeform and fun. Okay, well, I'm excited. So this is one, and I say this every time I'm on, and it's really true. This is an easy one for kids to do, and it's one that you can do ahead. So this would be a great activity if you've got a bunch of holiday guests coming over and you want kids to be busy. So cookies Perfect. have been baked and iced, and the icing is dry. So a lot of times okay. they come in and the icing is still wet, or we do icing live. This one you want to have it dry so you could make cookies today pop them in the ice them pop them in the freezer and they'd be ready to go for next week for okay. thanksgiving so i the colors that we use are kind of special and then one other special thing that we use is um everclear or vodka yeah i was shocked when you pulled that out. i was like what, what <laughs> I, is this for i don't normally bring alcohol no. on for cookies but if you just use water and don't mix it with a little bit of Everclear, the water can kind of set on the cookies and it pits that surface. It'll kind of eat away at the sugar. Okay. So Everclear is just gonna help those colors dry fast. So it has to be that type of alcohol It doesn't too. have to, it can be any vodka. Okay. So you could actually use like almond extract or vanilla extract, clear vanilla extract. That also has a little bit of alcohol in it okay. so it dries quick. You can just use water too. You just wanna make sure that your paint brushes aren't super wet okay. when you paint. So, And then what I, type of paint are you using? So I use um, airbrush colors because they naturally are a little bit thinner. You can, there's one dot on your um, palette that's regular gel icing. You could also use the um, grocery store colors that are already kind of liquid. Those will work perfect too. Okay, so. just make sure it's edible. Yes, and edible paint. almost all of the, yes, it's food color. So <laughs> definitely edible food color. Um, and like I said, Ideal Tencent Events has edible colors. You can also pick it up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, any of those. So All right, well, let's get started. All right, so dip your paintbrush in the water, which is what in your, oops, and I just spilled water. I'd like over. a smaller brush. You okay? can use a smaller brush, bigger brush. It is really open. And then... Um, I've got vodka in your little tiny tray right here. here. Yep, um, you, and then you can dip it in your colors and I kind of dip it into the paintbrush and then I use that flat surface to kind of see how that color comes out. Okay. And you'll see. So it, am I supposed to dip it in my Everclear first? Yep, you can dip it in your Everclear and that's gonna help that spread a little bit. So I'm doing the pumpkin first. Okay, I'm just gonna do the, the feather. And you're just I You literally it. are just brushing it on. And then if you want to create some more dimension, you can go back in with that Everclear or that water, and you can actually lift some of those areas so that it's a little bit lighter. My favorite way to do with the feathers, and the feather ones are pretty popular, just because it's an easy, is to go from that Oh, out, yeah, that's smart. And then to take a dry brush and then you can actually pull feather this it. and feather it so that it has some dimension there too. And like, it dries pretty quick on the, on the cookies. What if I use this? Get yeah, absolutely brush. use that. You can go back through too and add a little bit more vodka, a little bit more water and help that flow a little bit on your colors. Or to go back in and add, um, use like the side of your brush and give it strokes of feathers on each side. And I love when it's free form. I love that you can kind of do your own thing um, and really make it personalized. The only thing that this, this type of decorating won't allow you to do is if you wanted to add sprinkles or if you wanted to add something that needed to stick, you'd have to go back on and add more icing that was wet. For it to stick. For it to stick. After, yep. Absolutely. But this is one of those things that you can set kids up with a palette and really kind of let them go to town. Wait, I kind of love this. It's it's addictive and it can, I kind of go back and forth. I always let cookies dry a little bit um, in between different color changes, just so that you can kind of um, see where that dimension is. And if you've painted before, you know how that is too. You can kind of go back and 
add in your different designs, add in your different colors, and really kind of go to town. So if I'm doing my design and I start to see that like, oh, this is a little bit watery, do I just add more alcohol? So, yep, you could add more. Um, well, if it's too watery, you wanna add more color. If it's too wet, if, if that's, you can just let it sit and that color and that wetness will kind of absorb into that icing. Okay, that makes sense. Look at you. Yeah, I don't know how great, I like the purple part. I like that though. You can also pick up white food color, food dye, um, which is it's a titanium white and add that on if it gets too dark. The only thing you wanna be careful of too is if you're spending a lot of time on the actual cookie itself to decorate, um, the white icing can pull up and make it look a little bit cloudy. Oh. So if you want to just stay clear and crisp like that, you want to let it dry just a little bit. The more you kind of brush on top of that icing while it's wet, the more that white will kind of come up and make it matte more than shiny. Look at you go. <laughs> Not only can you do great with actual <laughs> frosting tips, but you this, are an artist and can paint too. This is one that's so easy. Anybody can feel like an artist. And it's one of those things too, where let's say you did a bunch of them and you were like, this isn't what I thought this was going to look like. You could literally ice over it. Oh yeah. And then just restart. Restart. Yeah. It's an easy one for that. So now once I'm done with these, they just sit and dry and they'll stay in place? Yep, they'll stay in place. It's not going to come off. It's not going to brush off anything like that. It's, it's so much fun. And literally all you need is the paint and some paint brushes. Some edible color. You can, you can use any icing color. Edible Add color. Add a little bit of vodka, a little bit of water, and you've got a whole paint palette for your edible creations. Oh, look at when I mix the, the colors. And when you, when you play around, too, with... Um, how to paint and how to kind of brush stuff out like that, you can really get some pretty spectacular designs yeah. on just a basic iced white cookie. I love how it looks when the colors like mix a little yeah. too. Oh and my that, gosh, so fun. And that'll mix better too when you, um, you could go back over that with vodka and that's gonna draw those colors out and kind of give it some dimension as well. I love that. This looks is so much fun. Thank you for so coming welcome. in and teaching us how to do this. Anytime.